Good day and welcome to King William Rules Everything. Today I want to show you a couple of LED floodlights. And uh, these were both bought on Amazon. And there's the difference between the two is um, price wise, this one was like 35, this one was 25. And you can kind of see there's a little difference between the two. Uh, definitely a much higher quality and much lower quality. They're both 50 watt. LED uh, floodlights and one really is one isn't so it's kind of even actually where they uh, they uh, show these on Amazon it's a 50 watt LED 50 watt LED well while that's true it's really not being driven as a 50 watt LED and when we take it apart I'll, I'll kind of show you that uh, so what I'll do maybe I'll just do I'll take the first one apart kind of give you a little taste of what's inside it. Um, you kind of see, it's got nice big fins, it's cast, it's really nice. And this little back guy has his little driver in it, so we'll take him out first, kind of show you the main cast of current driver in here. This one's actually a true 50 watt uh, driver, and it's driving 50 watt LED, so it not a lie and kind of hard to see just a little cheap Chinese uh, driver in there and it actually is grounded so that's a good sign has a nice little uh, uh, weatherproof seal uh, this guy has probably maybe 50 60 hours on it so it's actually a, a pretty good light uh, this other guy cheaper one, maybe not so good I took a couple screws off it just to kind of show the difference and I was playing around. Much, much cheaper. Um, the fins, I mean, very little cooling compared to this fellow. Okay, here's where things are a little disappointing. Uh, it does have a 50 watt LED, and if he wants to pull apart. This guy actually has a little 30 watt driver. Big difference. Uh, 50 watt, 30 watt. So let's not kind of see where they kind of started cheaping out. And I suspect they did this because this uh, 50 watt LED probably failed, so it just could not run at full uh, full 50 watts. And the other bad thing about this guy, he was not grounded, so I put a little, a little lug in there. So. You know, that kind of tells you what you get from China. Um, so they are kind of deceiving, say, a 50 watt LED with a 30 watt driver. And like I said, it's probably because the LED failed, it didn't pass, and or couldn't run it at 50 watts. So then you can actually tell when you turn it off uh, some of the currents leaking between the LEDs, so they're probably just not very good. Uh, this housing, very cheaply made. Um, and we'll just kind of take them both apart really quick. But this is just a little stamped uh, faceplate for it. Uh, nothing fancy. Uh, it's probably like the minimal you want to use. I, I definitely would probably would put this outside. It's supposed to be outdoor rated, but it's just a little stamped piece of metal. And a nice little piece of glass. And to kind of tell quality from China, there's four tapped holes. They use two to hold the, the, their little reflector in, which is fine. Um, it really doesn't need to be secured in super strong, but it has a nice little gasket. <coughs> you can kind of see we do have a little bit of um, uh, heat sink compound oozing out around the side, so they did that okay, but um, it's nothing fancy. It's very thin. Uh, this actually gets really hot, these, these LEDs. So the back of this guy he gets it's pretty toasty after a while. Um, so the minimal cooling, you know, it's got some good surface area, so I'll just uh, just place the heat. But it is what it is. This fellow here, much heavier, much nicer. Um, probably should put the screws out before just to save it a little time, but. See when I take this cover off, it's actually cast. It's 
not just a stamp piece of uh, sheet metal. So it's a little bit nicer. Probably would put this outside. I was using this for on the side. So it's a nice little cast. Nothing fancy, but it's a good cast. So you know. quality Chinese glass. Uh, a nice little gasket. And this guy actually had all four <coughs> screws that I took two out a little while ago just to save a little time. Take this little gasket off, take his little reflector out, and you can see they're a little, actually a little different uh, uh, chips, but uh, a lot of heat sink compound oozing out, so they, they did a nice job with that. And you can see it's a 50, uh, 50 LED chip. There's 10 across and 5 that way. Same with this one. This one's a little different. Harder to see it, but there's 10 across and uh, 5 that way. Though, like I said, the other thing, you'll actually notice that uh, if you lower the current on these with a the different driver, you'll see not all the LEDs light up. So this is actually a faulty chip. You can probably replace it, but I'll use it till she fails. And um, this one was really nice. And it was ten dollars more, thirty-five bucks off of Amazon that was shipped, and uh, just a, a pretty quality light. Um, it is not UL listed, but you know you kind of expect that. But they did put a few little uh, markings on the back, uh, so they actually told you what the uh, 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 which wires ground, which one's neutral. Where this one really had, it was minimal. There was nothing to it. So you know, just be aware of what you're buying. And it's kind of sad that Amazon sells uh, Chinese crap, but you know that's that's life. So anyway, have a wonderful day. Rule everything.